Welcome home, Rep Pack. Mark is here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest <laughs> SpongeBob and the world's biggest. <laughs> Oh, 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 this is the Moby Dick of them all. The, what, the Moby what? <laughs> He's read the book. There he is! <laughs> Nickelodeon collection. And the CEO and owner of this channel has an ice cream truck that's touring around all of the urban areas of the country. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. SpongeBob, new ice pop camera flip. I can almost taste it. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. And today is going to be so much fun because we are going to be doing one of your guys' favorite series on this show. We are going to be getting out this house and we are going to be going on a hunt. But today is going to be a little bit of a variety hunt. You guys loved the last video we did, which was like a variety store hunt, where we kind of, instead of going to one store and focusing on it, we went to a few different stores and just kind of got like the main things we could find there and then moved on to the next one. And it's kind of what we kind of have to do right now because, you know, in October, November, December, and retail is at its peak. So everybody is releasing some of the best stuff and stores are keeping all their stock on the shelves. But in January, who who is bone dry? It's bone dry in the stores right now. Like, it's like every store we go to right now, there is just not much on the shelves and they have like very little stock because most people aren't going to the stores picking this stuff up, except for us, collectors. So we're gonna be going to a few different stores looking for all the stuff that they've got out there. Hopefully we can also find some Christmas stuff that uh, is getting discounted because of the fact that it's, you know, not that season anymore. But not just that, we are gonna be looking to find the brand new SpongeBob Ice Pops appearing on screen right here. And I just can't wait to taste them. I know they're gonna be good. And uh, I can't wait to see how ugly they are. You know they are. That's a line that only you could say right now. I mean, if a kindergarten teacher said that, that would be, you know, uh, a rough statement. So <laughs> let's go ahead and head out of here, guys. We're gonna be going to Walmart, Target, and some of our favorite discount stores. Let's do it. Cosmo, Wanda, I wish I was in the car. Oh, come on, they, they, they still work here? They're still around? What the heck? When am I gonna get a chance? When am I gonna get pooped? <laughs> Okay, so I've been I've been waiting my whole life to ask somebody this question. What? And here he is, dude. There he is. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. How did you cross the road? Why did you cross the road? <laughs> what? There's just a random chicken out here. Why is there a chicken on the side of the road? <laughs> <laughs> the closest thing is Panda Express. Either they forgot their chicken or something. <laughs> that is so strange. Maybe some places you guys live, that's normal. But in Southern California, that is the first time in my life. I've ever seen a chicken on the side <laughs> of the road. Somebody got to witness that thing go across the road, though, and I, I envy them. But at least we get to see the end of the joke. We're on our way to Walmart right now. <laughs> we did the Rainbow Ocean Man. I think now it's time to do the Chicken Ocean Man. Ocean buck, buck, man. <laughs> ocean buck, buck, buck. <laughs> man, take me by the buck, buck, man. <laughs> there we go. We have the first ever Chicken Ocean Man. Hopefully that'll give us some good luck. <laughs> All right, so the ice cream section's over. Here well, we're gonna go there last because you know I don't want to be let down too early. <laughs> what if they don't have it? <laughs> if they don't have it, I do have a backup plan to make sure we get some, but I'm hoping they do. What the heck? Yeah, it's donut. I thought I thought it was the churro. Oh no, the churro one's on top. Hey Mitchell, there you go. If you want more of the churro, I was just more curious they about this. Made a bigger size, a king size of the churro one for only two dollars. The small pack like this big is three dollars at five below. Shout out to Walmart with a king but size. I'm kind of curious about this one. <laughs> the frosted chocolate donut. <laughs> That is actually cool though, so hey, they, they, they heard it. You know, they did a little sample test at Five Below. <laughs> Weird that Marcus video. wanted a king size one. <laughs> yeah, we, we did the video and they're like, this one guy in Southern California wants these. Let's make it. And let's hope he buys the entire stock. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're checking out the Valentine's Day section here. Let's take a look here. We have a lot of good stuff. Goodness, here. that frog has seen better days. <laughs> oh, I was like, that is not a frog, which was a raccoon. Uh, but there is a frog. The frog right here is broken up. <laughs> okay, so we have oh, some heart shaped Krabby Patties. I don't really need these. I have these already in the collection. Wait, you want a sealed booster box? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, actually? That's like $10. You get a sealed box? I kind of don't hate that idea. <laughs> well, you know, who knows what we'll find today? I'll keep that in mind, but we're. we're Cooking a steel box there. 
They also have these too. Oh. The heart shaped like kebab ones. And that I don't really remember. I feel like I have one of these in the collection from last year, but it is only a dollar twenty-four, so I might just grab it anyway. SpongeBob is coming in full force hey. here actually in the Valentine's Day section, but look. Oh, That's what I was telling you of about. The cinnamon and the chocolate. Yeah. Can we do snack packs? Part of me wants to get these. I want the chocolate ones out of it. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, there's so many things here. I want to keep looking around. But I'm like thinking about this too because this one comes with the stickers for to and from. They also have the flavor variants too. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab this too. We have a lot of Krabby Patties here at the start, but hey, it's okay. <laughs> so far, all we've got is Krabby Patties. <laughs> These are the Valentine's Day cards. Again, like I grew up with these ones, like having some of these. Like I'm on about like two packs of these and maybe like some of the nerds ones, like I said. And that was usually kind of, you know, that was the end of that. But I don't see any fungi ones. There's TMNT. The TMNT ones are kind of cool. Oh, here you go. Nerf or nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> it just comes with a tattoo band. I feel like Nerf could have done something a little better than that. Or you guys someone with pencils. <laughs> <laughs> see, I kind of just want it for just one of those magnets, but the 16 of those bags I don't really need. You know, maybe I'll just get them give them to people and whatnot. <laughs> we'll grab these. I got scared. I thought these were little Stanley containers. Oh, you're about to get <laughs> trampled on. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. I didn't even know that that kid made like containers, like drinking containers. I mean, I thought it was like the freaking Stanley Cup from like hockey or something. <laughs> So I don't see any Stanley ones here. I think it's exclusive to Target, right? Yeah, I think so. And Starbucks. <laughs> you guys let me know where you land on this. Are you guys pro Stanley Cup? If you're doing a Stanley Cup, it's this cup right here. It's like going viral right now. For me, I'm like, I guess it's like being into Pokemon and stuff like that. Like I could understand if they have like these beautiful like- Even like that one there, yeah. yeah. Like something that's like this holographic, like, or even if it was licensed, like a Funko, you know, where it's like every single one is like themed after a different show or a character. I would be totally in on and kind of get it but as far as i can tell they're literally just like blue green pink just like just plain colors yeah so they're not like kind of intricate like this or... so i don't really get like what makes them more important than just like any of these ones they have for like 15 dollars or <laughs> like this literally looks like a stanley clip almost <laughs> yeah or 12 dollars personally for me i don't think i'm gonna be in on it um just because the fact that like i would rather just buy like this one for 12 dollars and just buy more spongebob and nickelodeon stuff but if they make a nickelodeon or a spongebob one i'm in <laughs> <laughs> but you guys let me know what you guys think about them. Okay, so now we are in the toy section. I think this is where we'll get the best luck to find anything that <laughs> we're, we're looking for. I think it's kind of sick. It's dope. I, I think we've seen it before. It's like it's dope. It's literally a nerve gun with the freaking blaster at the tip of it. It's by Adventure Force, though. And they have this Lucas's slingshot too. <laughs> a freaking Demogorgon blaster. Like it's just kind of a. Uh, this one's unique. still the sickest. Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely the dopest still so far. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna work our way through here and check out what they got, guys. You guys, so Walmart's kind of become like the premier place for TMNT stuff recently too. So we can take a look here and see if there's anything that stands out. This is actually kind of cool. This four pack. It has all the characters <laughs> in different outfits. <laughs> we have like a Star Trek one. What is this like? Uh, Buzz Lightyear. We have a cowboy and also Hawaii. Hawaii themed version of all the different characters. That's pretty sweet. Got him on a skateboard. Yeah, like that's dope. Nothing that stands out like I need though. Like, oh my gosh, amazing. Can we just give a shout out to Hot Wheels for like all these years and they still keep these things $1.24. Like, I feel like those were kind of like the same price as when I was a kid, you know? Like, yeah, maybe a dollar was like their lowest. Yeah, and they've just been maintaining this, you know? I, I, I have huge respect for that. Okay, so we have this section over here. We actually have a Legend of Zelda figure on there. Interesting. We have Sonic. Sonic, Sonic. Metal Sonic is the only one I see that's not Sonic as usual. Yep. We actually have a oh. little character right here. We have Raboot here. Uh -oh, a lot of Scizor. We got a Decidueye, Alakazam. That was kind of <laughs> sick too, the Me Too and Me. All right, guys, so we're going to keep looking around. Nothing too... I thought this was Spongebob. <laughs> again, again. Again, I thought that was Spongebob. You, you keep eluding us. <laughs> You guys know I'm kind of into fingerboarding and they have Disney ones. Oh, this is, <laughs> I would genuinely- That Mickey one's sick. Dude, exactly. Like, I, I don't think I'm gonna get this one in particular. If I can get it off, even if I wanted to get it, I couldn't. Like, 
I don't think I'm gonna get this one, but if this is like the start or the direction they go, like Scream Legends, yeah. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I love the tech decks that are like professional skateboarder themed ones, those are amazing. But oh man, if we can get some like licensed, like property ones, I would actually start collecting these like heavy. These are the professionals. Yeah, like, those are awesome ones too. But like so far for Hot Wheel, they've only had Tony Hawk. That's like the main guy they've kind of like sponsored, it seems like, for the Hot Wheel brand ones. <laughs> Literally everywhere. And I do prefer the hike. I love Tech Decks ramps and like accessories more, but I like the Hot Wheels fingerboard more. Oh man, they do Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, or even some Disney characters that I'm more into. Oh, I'm in. Me and Mitchell actually came over to here. To <laughs> Look at all of the SpongeBob's this time. <laughs> we came to see if there was a SpongeBob maybe with got, one. Yeah, we thought maybe there was a SpongeBob with one arm and maybe he got like some kind of like store transfer. They're like, you know, he's on the payroll. It's just transferred to another location though. He's just not that much help. He won't move. <laughs> <laughs> This dude, they have this Naruto. This is like not even shipped in. This is like the original yeah. Naruto that ended in 2007. And it is up here, mainstream as like Ninja Turtles, Spider Man. Are we actually at the point where Naruto? Yeah, look at that. Where Naruto is like Spider Man? Like, I love it. This is, I love it. But why is it not shipped in? Why not Boruto? It is the original. Like, yeah. that's crazy, dude. I mean, that's sick for Naruto, it's, though. It's sick. It's super dope. It's just so wild. You know, like, it's a crazy time to be alive. I guess because, like, a, yeah, the anime rise is just like okay this is the base naruto is like the most memorable most like popular besides dragon ball right yeah but it's just like so wild like all of this stuff that you see on here like sonic is making new content constantly spider-man new content constantly they even have miles morales on there now too yeah this is the new tmnt this is a TMNT. show that ended in 2007 yeah <laughs> and it's got bed sheets like that's incredible and I, I mean i'm happy I'm, I'm happy for this new world where anything can happen really we thought these were fake. Sweet. So we have. Who's on the, the back? The, on the back is Piccolo. Oh, trunks. Trunks. I was gonna say they're different characters. The dopest haircut in anime history. What the freak? Is it just like all trunks? Wait, I thought there was Piccolo on the. There back. is. There's. These are oh, all the characters so you can get. Oh, dude, we need the Frieza one. Trunks, Frieza, so. Oh, that is sick. It's so random though. <laughs> but yes, this is the Goku or the Dragon Ball Z Reese's Puff. See, it's another thing that just came back, like Super has been out. Yeah, he's. Exactly. Exactly. It's like anime is just so like in vogue right now. It's so popular and I'm happy about it, man. I love it. So we have trunks on the back there. I'm going to pick this one up for our food collection. This will go in my kitchen. This is just sweet. Oh man, so they don't have the ice pops here. Like I said, guys, I have a backup plan. No matter what, we are trying those SpongeBob ice pops today. <laughs> it would have been nice to see them here in the store. It seems, I man, it was just like the mac and cheese. Like, I mean, you saw it in the store. Mitchell picked us up some for the video, but I never saw those in the store. Like, I literally only saw the display. I never saw them in the actual store location. I think so. what it is here in our in like California is they don't do WalMarts. They do like other little ones like Ralphs or Stater Brothers or places like yeah. that. Yeah. So I mean, what we're to do is we're gonna, gonna look around a little bit here we're gonna look at the clothing section see if there's anything crazy that comes out over there but for the most part i think we're gonna be heading out of here in a second and we might go to one more store along the way but i mean today was a very food day you know we got reese's puffs we got all these crabby patties and then some valentine's day cards <laughs> you got your kit cat <laughs> so very food uh built collecting day which I'm, I'm i love it okay so walmart was okay we're gonna go to target now it's right here this is the second hunt now where we've gone to two stores because usually one store they have so much cool stuff we end up kind of just you know ends up kind of scratching my spongebob and collecting yeah. me but it doesn't matter i'm hyped that we're gonna find whatever awesome stuff that there is out there to, to find even if we got to go to another store so we're gonna head over to target right now and we also might head over to this other store that we've never gone to we love going to the discount stores now like ross burlington we may go to the ross over here possibly but there's another store called Dee Dee's Discounts, which maybe you have in your area. I don't know how common it is. It's definitely not as big as like a Ross or a Burlington or any of those places or Marshalls or PJ Maxx, you know, any of the insert discount retailer that you know about. But we have found some unique stuff there in the past. So we might head over there too to see what they've got. But let's head in Target, see if anything substantial comes from it. If not, we're gonna head over to Ross. And if not from there, then we're gonna head over to Dee Dee's Discount. Well, Dee Dee's Discount, I think we're just gonna go there anyway. But I really wanna take advantage of those stores because they probably have a lot of Christmas stuff on sale true yeah all right so let's, anyway, without any further ado let's hop on in there okay so we're in target right now they have a bunch of these squishmallows yeah, yeah these tsunamis and mostly a lot of the squishmallow ones but there's like some five minutes of freddy's ones in here i'm still looking for the foxy one but this is actually dope dude so there used hey. to be a show it was the lilo and stitch uh animated series yeah where they went to catch all the different experiments right exactly yeah. but there also is a sequel movie i think maybe the second or the third movie where there's a character that's like an evil version of stitch and his name 
name is Leroy. And I would love to get Leroy. I think that would be such a sick pull to get. They also have some of the other ones from that series as well here. But I need to get that Leroy one. They only have one of these in stock though. At least in this area. Yeah, so I'm thinking about getting this one. But the fact that there's one always makes me a little suspicious as to like maybe it's been kind of like you know, filled bit, around. Yeah, pre-vetted. But nonetheless, I'm still going to probably grab it for right now. What else do we got? There's a random Charmander down here. And we might get some cards. I think we and me and you need to do another pack uh, I got battle a little series. Greeters. I kind of just want to get these because they're just sick. <laughs> just for the collectible aspect. But they're just like, they're just common cards. Though. Yeah. Like Hollow forms are not promos. But yeah, those are sick. Okay, so we I, we almost passed these. These are the Frankfurt Krabby Patty Sliders, the X and O ones. I got these last year, but dude, these ones, they actually have a Krabby Patty sauce with them. So they actually have a red sauce with it. I don't so even know. It's probably just some like, Strawberry uh, like some juicy drop sauce kind of stuff, but uh, just for the different uh, taste, I'm going to try it. Me too. Looks <laughs> like <laughs> Mitchell as well. Ooh. This is a must get. We got the Raikou. So I already have the Suicune. We just I need think. Mewtwo then? Yeah, there's a Raikou and then there's Mewtwo and I think Garchomp. Oh, the Garchomp. Gar that would one, be dude. so good. I'm going to grab the Raikou one though. Dude, he is so solid looking. And they only have these at Target, a majority of them. So you have to just kind of get here and hope that they have them in stock. There was a Tyranitar too. I think we missed him as well. Oh. There's a lot we still need, but I can't leave Raikou behind because I have the Suicune. Now all we need is the Tay. Whenever they make him. <laughs> that is freaking me. What is Oh, his tail's disconnected. Oh, okay. That looked kind of interesting back yeah. there. <laughs> it was a little bit concerning, but it's all right. His tail's disconnected. Let's go ahead and grab Raikou, though. So we're looking at the plushies here now. We can proudly say that we have all of these now. Well, all the ones that you could find, actually, in the store. I mean, it was so hard to find them. Now they seem to just be just laying around. Yeah, it's like, I don't know what else is left in here, you know? If there's anything else you need. I've already got my full party of six, so I don't need them. I have... Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, I have Pikachu, I have Mimikyu, and I have Gengar. So I have a, and I have a Mewtwo. <laughs> You've exceeded your limit. A Mew as well, not Mewtwo. So I already have a, a one in the box and a party of six of these life-size Pokemon, but man, do I love this line. Ugh, and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have picked a Slowpoke to be in my team, so I'm not going to grab him, but he is so cute. And then they also have the Psyduck Sign. too, man. And this little weird four-pack you can get at the EVs. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool, though. It's just the original four. Oh, dude, that is sweet. Why is Patrick? He's so cute. Patrick's doing all the love this year. And as he should, there's only two sizes, dude. Small and medium. medium. Small and a medium. Ah, uh, I love that Patrick is getting, like, all of the merch. Yeah. We got the St. Patrick's Day. Patrick. The St. Patrick's Day Patrick shirt. Now we have the Valentine's Oh, shirt. little Mojo Jojo. <laughs> that is pretty cool. In the back, as the girls. Look at Mojo just hanging out <laughs> down here, too. So interesting, though, what they do and they don't have this time. I know, I wish they had this shirt though, man. I would love this shirt. Okay, so I'm hyped on the Raikou, and I'm hyped on the Stitch figure. I'm hoping we get Leroy. If we don't get Leroy, at least hopefully it's somebody else that's sick. <laughs> but that's what I've got to hoping out for. We're going to head over to the place I was telling you guys about Dee Dee's discounts. Sorry if this video is us just kind of jumping around everywhere. But what I was kind of looking for, too, was to hopefully find a lot of the uh, SpongeBob or Nickelodeon Christmas stuff on sale. But we didn't really see any at Ross. We did stop in there real quickly. We didn't even film it because there just wasn't really anything worth talking about about and we did get some cool valentine's day stuff at walmart but we still didn't get a lot of the stuff that we've seen online like the valentine's day plushie for spongebob they had at ross there's just a bunch of other stuff that i'm hoping that we see in our area before valentine's day passes because i would love to add them to the collection but nonetheless i'm happy that at least we got to add some stuff to the pokemon collection that i've been looking for for a while and we're gonna get to try out those new krabby patties and we got a bunch of krabby patties today let's go ahead and head over to dd's discount and see if we can find anything else cool but after dd's discount we're gonna head back to the cavern so we could check out everything that we did find. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. We did not see this anywhere else during the, uh, the Christmas time. So we have the SpongeBob advent calendar, but this is a salted different, caramel. It's a different hot cocoa mint, for every day up until Christmas. Cinnamon. I wish we would have found this. Dude, I would have had two of them so I could have done that every single day until then. Looks like this one's the cleanest one. So yeah. we're going to get that one. That is sick. I love it. And dude, that's what I'm saying. We should have come $2? out. Two dollars and fifty cents. We should have come out like right next year. What we're gonna do is right after Christmas, we're gonna go do another hunt where we go to all the major locations and just look for Christmas stuff on sale in relation to SpongeBob or Nickelodeon stuff. 
you have to really look at the prices at this place because they have stuff for stupid cheap, like just actually dumb. This fairy tale pop, I mean, it looks fine to me. It's 49 cents. 49 cents. What? That's what I'm saying. Like, we got to tell a little dent here, but 49 cents. That's like that's almost so unreal. free. <laughs> like, that's unreal. Don't look at the pops. Like, Mitchell grabbed the Garo one. This one's $5. They probably just put it out. But 49 cents, <laughs> that's actually crazy. As you guys can see, I grabbed this soccer right here. I don't know if they're all that price, but this one's only $2.50. I paid, like, freaking 15 when I got mine, so I'm grabbing. It. You got a bunch of wallets here. Oh, dude, this one's cool, but I hate the sticker right there. Uh, it comes off, but I don't know about that one. It's okay. Just his eyes. Yeah. Does that have the lid for it either? No. Oh, we have this one too. Five dollars. Is this place even cheaper than Ross? Ross's are like nine, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's like Ross is already pretty cheap, but that is a pretty cool wallet for only five dollars. We'll grab that guy too. That is actually sick to add to the collection. Dude, this like, like a whole thing is empty, but I just see this in the corner. <laughs> Ooh, talk about liquidation, the best liquidation under the sea. 99 cents. I always want to try one. Dude, 99 cents. I mean, heck yeah. And this is like again limited. Like you don't see these everywhere. Like there's nothing like super special about the I mean, so. It's the fact that it's a SpongeBob, it's a SpongeBob food, though. Yeah. It's obscure. Like, that's what's crazy awesome. Hey, look how it. many times it's been on sale. <laughs> It's the same thing with the pop over there. Like they just go boom, boom, boom. They pretty soon it's gonna be 50 cents too. That is crazy the prices at this place. <laughs> I literally didn't think it was possible to find a place cheaper than Roz or like Burlington. And here we are. Here we are, exactly. Disney villain cup right here that is actually really dope. We have the lovely ladies of Disney here in the front, you know. You could get a princess cup, but I personally think this might be a little cooler. And then we also have this, dude, check it out. A little, a little set of uh, Zach Spongebob cups. And it says Spongebob, $4. I mean, it's a dollar a cup. It's kind of a lot for these, but you know what? Just because it's Sponge, I'm going to grab them. This is sick. Look, <laughs> this is a grandpa shark. Screw the baby shark. The grandpa shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> What is that? This is the uh, Aliens remix where they actually have them in their oh actual different suits. Sully and... Sully and Boo. And they actually have Boo's door back there. Honestly, I just like... Even if you just get it for just the Boo's door and the scare canister back there, that in itself is just a cool setup, like display piece. And originally $18 down to $6. That's an instant cop for me. That's, that's really cute. There's only one left, too, for a reason. Dude, look. This, this is what we're saying. Like, every store right now, <laughs> it is like this. Same product, same product. Literally, it's just three one. same products. <laughs> Just, All these are the same. It's just a one right up in front. Dude, Kakashi, two dollars and fifty cents. Sasuke, two dollars and fifty cents. That's nice. Rengoku, younger his younger brother, two dollars and fifty cents. What is happening right now, dude? Dude, and like, look at the prices. Like I said, dude, ninety nine cents for Pokemon figures. Oh. Wabafet. Wabafet. <laughs> And dude, Alolan Muck, like, you know what, dude, for a dollar ninety-nine, like are they open or no? I'll get them all for a dollar for ninety-nine cents. Like, that's unbelievable. Okay, so I mean this is a pretty decent haul. Oh, I'm pretty sure like all of this is gonna be like under 20 bucks probably <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and take this stuff and head on out of here and head back to the cavern that was a surprising little addition all right so we had it's a ridiculous <laughs> i feel like i genuinely robbed the store those prices were unreal so she said they had a huge overstock that happened so a bunch of stuff was on sale <laughs> on sale is an understatement uh, literally almost free that is probably the craziest deal i've ever gotten on and this is not an anime avenue channel video but literally we have have anime heroes here. We have freaking the Ban Presto ones that I collect here for Demon Slayer. Unbelievable. Dirt cheap. For dirt cheap, actually. And I don't think they're gonna be doing that forever, so that's why I just I just stocked up, you know? That was crazy. Okay, so we got a, that was a, an awesome conclusion of that haul. Yeah. Can I have this copyright music going on? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to steal your copyright, Blue Man Group. Oh, this copyright music, you mean mute.
go ahead and get on into this. I can't. I'm excited to see what I got. I'm excited to check out everything that we got here together. Let's go ahead and do it. There we go. That's better. I couldn't hear you the whole time. I, was, I had to turn you up. Yeah, listen better, dude. Come on. <laughs> All right, so let's check out everything that we got at Target and Walmart. And then we're going to check out everything we got at the discount store, which is like the way bigger haul. Okay, so at Walmart, one, like, one of the coolest things I got was this right here. I feel like I should already have had one of these, but I don't. So, you know, I'm glad to have this. This is a full booster box, a full container, <laughs> sealed container of the Krabby Patty heart-shaped gummies. I think that's a really cool design display piece. I kind of want to get one of the originals though, you know? That would be sick. And I'm sure it's not that hard to get because they sell those year round all the time, you know? You just have to be on the lookout. Yeah, we have this display case over here. Oh, can you imagine a display case of the Nick Candy ones? Oh. Well, you're jacking something. That's probably not even a thing. Probably anymore. like a, I think that that would genuinely cost like a thousand dollars. This Nick Candy one right here has sold for upwards of over a hundred dollars in some cases. And you're talking about like nine or ten in a pack? In yeah. a sealed case? I genuinely think somebody out there would be insane enough to spend up to a thousand bucks on that. It's but that is crazy though, the heart-shaped one. I am gonna look out for these now. Like I might consider getting some of the, at least the color patty one, the pretty patty ones. I don't know if you can get a case of the watermelon ones, but I think as a backdrop on a shelf, it would be kind of cool to have multiple cases of different yeah, ones. Yeah, I feel like the the original. Obviously. The newest the ones. The newest originals. Yeah, yeah. Like the newest original, the newest watermelon, and the newest color ones, I think all are possible still. So big fan of this. And these are 2024. So the first ones of 2024, and I did leave the bag of the Valentine's Day ones because these all came with the Valentine's Day cards as well too. So I didn't really see a purpose in getting both of them because I, I have many of those Valentine's Day ones already. So we got this whole case right there. I mean, I guess if we're ranking items, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 10. I mean, this is a nice collection piece for 10 bucks. I'll give it one for each patty box. Can you please make sour ones? <laughs> oh yes. Okay, the next up here we have the Ninja Turtles. 16 Valentine's Days with 16 magnets. I literally bought this because on our whatnot stream so if you guys don't know we do whatnot and that's a live auction show where we auction off some really cool stuff we also do giveaways but every single package that we do over there on whatnot i constantly put free stuff in all the boxes and i just got these because i'm like hey man i only want one of these magnets but for valentine's day i could get these out to people in their boxes and i could also give out these magnets too so I know some people are gonna love them and it's just a little freebie along with, you know, whatever they order. So I only need one, boom, there we go. And then the rest of these we can give out to people for free. So there we go, so you have all the different ones. Peace, love, and pepperoni. Love fades, but pizza is forever. <laughs> That's so true, pizza will always be here for you, whether the price rises or not. Wake up and smell the pizza. Ooh, they're all pizza themed. Pizza is always a good idea. That's a fact, That's buddy. That's true, That's true. <laughs> I just want pizza. <laughs> <laughs> the last slice is mine. Oh, those are heart-shaped pepperonis. Dear pizza, I, I love you. <laughs> Take another little pizza, my heart. So I'm gonna give these guys a rating. I mean, it was like three dollars. I'm gonna give that a uh, for the price. Uh, I'll give it. A, I'll give it an, an eight and a half out of ten. I'll give it an eight. Just because they're all pizza related. Next up here we got the, hey. the king of all Saiyans. Not the prince, the king of Saiyans. We have Goku here in his very own first Reese's Puff cereal, as far as I know. And like I said, I got the Trunks one because, you know, I, I looked through them all and I just said, you know what? I like this one the most. Definitely wasn't a trunk load of trucks. Or trunk. <laughs> <laughs> there was a trunk little trunks. But no, really, if I had to, pick, if I got my ultimate choice, I would have got the Vegito one or the Frieza one. But a uh, third choice would have been probably here at Trunks. So I'm happy we got this one. I'm just going to put this in my kitchen along with my display of other different cereals. Just give me like a. Uh... Pokemon like cereal vibes, you know? Yeah, and it kind of talks about like uh, what we we're talking about in the store about how like mainstream Naruto is that it has kids' bed sheets. And the same thing with Dragon Ball. Like Dragon Ball is so mainstream that it actually has cereal for kids to go pick up. But I think that marketing teams are lucky to have us, you know? They are mm -hmm. lucky to have millennials and Gen Z because our parents are nostalgic and that's why, like, you know, with brands like Scooby Doo, Garfield, like that have stayed around, right? Freaking Betty Boop. Yeah, like those brands have stayed around because of nostalgia. We're 
lucky enough that the stuff that we're into is kind of like all like Scooby-Doo. You know what I mean? Like kids still like SpongeBob. Kids still watch Naruto. And then also not only are they buying it, we're buying it. You know? True, yeah. <laughs> so like the market is just perfect for them because not only will kids be buying this Reese's Puffs, but adults alike will also be buying these Reese's Puffs. So it literally is like a, a match made in heaven for, for marketing because every demographic uh, from like 40 and under is probably going to be picking these up. So an amazing box there. I love the colors. And I mean, Goku kind of just fits the Reese's Puff vibe so well. I'll give this a, I'm going to give it a, uh, I'm going to give it, it a, a seven and a half. Oh, yeah, I was going to say eight, so that works. Okay, I'm going to give it a seven and a half. So we'll go with, the, we'll just go with seven and a half on this one. I think that it's really cool, but I would have loved to see something different. Oh, you know what it is? Sick for that cereal, just have like the Nimbus clouds. Yeah, maybe some Nimbus cloud marshmallows. Or something, yeah. Yeah, just to add into it, something to kind of make it feel more like an experience in just the box itself. But I'm not giving them a low rating because it's the same price. You're not paying anything extra just for this packaging. I think if they would have charged anything extra for this, I probably would have given it a low rating. But the fact that it's the same cost, I think it's still a win. All right, so now we are on our way to Target. When we were at Target, I picked up this one Lilo and Stitch figure because they didn't have any more. And like I said, it has a list of some of the other of Jabba's experiences, or experiences. I don't know, I guess they are some of his experiences too. But <laughs> Jabba's experiments that you can collect. And I would love any of them, really. I probably would want to get Angel 626, or what is this one's name? Uh, is it 627? Yeah. It's like really close to Stitch's number, right? Oh, his name's just Ruben. Oh, okay, Ruben. <laughs> but I thought he was like a really close number to Stitch. I mean, he could be still 626 whatever and just gave himself a name yeah Ruben <laughs> Felix so we're going to open these guys up and see. I really want Leroy. I just think that's so sick that he even has one, but let's check it out. All right, come on, Leroy. Oh, no, it's yellow. Is that a is that an exclusive? Oh, the electric one. Ooh. Do you remember this from the show? <sighs> Yeah, and that's an exclusive B. Yeah, that's exclusive B. That is a cool one. I, I'm not mad that I got this one. Like, <laughs> would I have rather got Leroy? Yes. But at the same time, at least it's an exclusive. It's a chase. All right. So I'll, I'll take that. And it's crazy to me that this show, like the, the show is big enough for those characters to kind of get their own merch, you know? Uh, however many experiments there were going to be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't think they, he never got to show all 626 experiments, but they did get to see a lot of them. I remember a certain episodes you'd see like, several in one but i think it's crazy that like i mean some of these experiments this may be their first merch ever that's wild yes i mean that's that's kind of cool and i'm glad to be a part of it but we have the chase mitchell got something at walmart i almost forgot about that king size chocolate frosted donut all right let's crack this baby open expires in 2024 i better eat this quick all right, go ahead and take a piece right there oh man already broken off for me all right so let's go ahead oh smells nice all right, let's go ahead and do this. It looks just like a glaze-like frosted donut. It really does look like a like a Krispy Kreme one. Can I have the rest of this. You gonna ask that every time you take a bite out of something? Just making sure, man. You might want just to just take one bite and that's it. <laughs> that is an interesting flavor. I don't like it as much as a churro for me. Yeah, but it's not bad. It's interesting for sure. I don't know. I'm gonna get that. Compared to the churro, this is like a seven. Yeah, I was thinking a seven too. I would eat it. I wouldn't let it go to waste, but I also wouldn't pick it up again. Yeah, true. <laughs> That's what right. I said new, and I was like, oh, you know what? Try it. <laughs> All right, so seven out of ten on the Kit Kat donut sticks. Okay, so we also got this. We wanted to make sure. So this is the new Sliders X and O patties. This is the original here. And I had a sticker there that's from Didi's Discount that kind of was rough to get off, but thankfully we did. It was really hard. Yeah. <laughs> but we did see it is not contained. This this new Krabby Patty sauce. So you see two pack here and then Krabby Patty sauce. So this is the new variant of that. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this one open and uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. These ones aren't expired yet. These just expire in July of this year. That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> what the heck? And these expire in July of next year. Wow. <laughs> All <laughs> right. It's some insane shelf life. Yeah, other than that though, they're exactly the same packaging. It's just the, the packet is on the one and then it says two pack on the other. Yeah, they even have the same SKU number up until like the last three numbers. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open and we're gonna try some of this new, brand new Krusty Krab sauce. Krabby Petty sauce. It may not be as good as Ed's sauce, but it sure is gonna be good, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so let's pop this sauce open. Try not to spill it everywhere. I'm just gonna try and spill it everywhere. I'm gonna put a little bit of this. I gotta do the whole package, you know? So what do you usually put your sauce? Do you put it on the lettuce? 
You put it on the meat, uh, the, you put it on the bun. I usually it goes on the bun. Not always. <laughs> Sometimes they put it on the meat. So that's where I'm gonna put it. Nice little generous uh, mess. I was trying to make a smiley face. But, you know, there's something. <laughs> it's like a Heath Ledger smiley face. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go and give it a try, and then you can give yours a try, Mitchell. It's like jellyfish jelly! Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm curious to see what the flavor is. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Mmm. Is, is that a win? Like a good mmm? Or... Mmm. 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 Put a one on into this. A zero one. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That takes everything you like and then puts more on it. Ooh. Yep. I'm gonna go across this little X here. Ooh. All his X's live in Texas. You heard that, Sandy? Ooh, we. Oh, still coming out. <laughs> Got out. A, new, a new Nickelodeon logo. Oh, baby. Dripping out this. <laughs> it's juicy. This ain't triple X rated. This is quad <laughs> X rated. All right, here we go. All right, try it out. Ooh, we. It's dripping out the mouth. Oh yeah. Succulent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a bit of tartness. It's good. It's sour sauce. Yeah, this is really solid. It's tartar sauce, if you will. <laughs> Dude, I would recommend this all day. Yeah, this That's what I'm saying. Really it reminds me of the video where I took the Krabby Patty and I dunked it inside of the slime sauce that they have right here. That is a match made in heaven. It's like they listen to us. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you. They be watching these videos. All right. Mm. So 10 out of 10, 10 out of 4. 10 out of, 10 out of everything. <laughs> All right. All right. So the next item we got at Target was this right here. So this is something I personally needed to add to my collection. I've been collecting these Pokemon Select figures for a while. I just think they're some of the best form factors of the characters. I love that they're articulated, but not just that. They're good profiles of those characters. Comparatively to like a statue, which is amazing. You can't really move it as much. It doesn't have that classic action figure look to it. And it's way more detailed than something like a Funko Pop. So I love this line so much. I needed to get the Raikou as soon as I saw it since we already have the Suicune. But now looking at the back, we need that Mewtwo and we need that Garchomp. But Raikou, I don't know. What's your favorite of the Legendary Beast? Because they're not dogs, some people say. The Legendary Beast. And also, do you say Raikou or do you say Raikou? I personally have always said Raikou, but I also think you can say Raikou. And before you say we do it wrong, the creators of Pokemon said that, they're, that the names are exactly however you want to say them. <laughs> so, you know, you can pronounce it however you want. There's literally no technical way on how to say a Pokemon's name. As long as it's in the line of what the letters spell, you can say it however you like. So, favorite, favorite beast. beast. I, Raikou is not my favorite. My favorite as a kid was Suicune. That's why I picked up Suicune. He was my first one I grabbed. I gotta say, like, yeah, I really mean Suicune, because Entei is kind of like, I don't know, he just looks like a generic dog in a way. Yeah, yeah, he's just like, like, more, like a more godly Arcanine. Yeah, and then he's like a saber-toothed tiger. Yeah, Raikou is the second sickest to me. Yeah. The, the least sick is Entei. Entei's dope, though, too. All of them are great. They're all legendary for a reason. But, of the three, those are my favorite, but I, I'm glad that we got Raikou. Raikou. But I can't wait for them to release an Entei, and I need that Garchomp. I even want the Garchomp more than I do the Mewtwo. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So that's everything we got at Target. I'm gonna give that guy, I'm gonna give him a, an eight out of 10, because I don't really like that hole in the bum there. <laughs> I get that's where his tail goes, but they could have pulled that off in a way to where it didn't look like that. So I'm gonna say an eight out of 10 on that one. <laughs> Okay, so we have the Spongebob Ice Pops here. It comes in a six pack. You have Fruit Punch, Cotton Candy. I bought these at my grocery store. I was hoping we could find them in the video for the hunting aspect. But when I was getting my own personal groceries, I saw this and I was like, okay, what if we don't find them? I'm gonna grab this in case. <laughs> so I grabbed those. The box kind of opens like a, kind of like a donut box a little bit. Like it kind of like it's a weird little packaging there, but I, I like it. And I'm gonna keep one box seal I, I don't know like do you think i feel like this is not a good thing to keep sealed you know because i feel like eventually this liquid will get nope. out of this yeah yeah i i think that's gonna be a tough one to keep sealed i'll probably just re-glue this box to keep one sealed package like this but who knows maybe this will be like the uh original one where it stays around forever and you'll always be able to get it but this will still be the original packaging for it, it says frozen confection bar which means it's not ice cream because none of these uh pops you see are actually ice cream they're more similar to like a yogurt so that's why they say confection there Let's go ahead and try this out though. All right, so how does he look? What the heck? A little smaller, and he's got chocolate eyes again and a chocolate mouth. But it doesn't really look like SpongeBob anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got rid of the tie. I think the tie was like a big piece of it. They got rid of the tie. It's just well, literally- the teeth. Like if you look at that, you know? He has his teeth and his eyes. And yeah, and the tie, yeah, what the heck? Yeah, the white for the tie, the white line. Who are you? I'm yeah, it just really looks like a red and yellow brick with white eyes, 
and a chocolate smiley face. Like they would have made it look like this at least. It would have looked the good. eyelashes. Yeah. yeah, the eyelashes at least would have held it up. Or the nose. They literally photoshopped the nose and the eyelashes on there because that's what it looks like when you open it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just barely SpongeBob. Now to see if it tastes the same. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna go with the ice first, just the ice by itself. Yeah. Fruit punch and cotton candy. It's literally, it's a little softer, but maybe it's just because my freezer is not as strong as like the ones they have at the uh, at the gas stations. But the flavor is pretty much exactly like the ones that you get at the liquor store. And that's pretty smart for them to make it like a marketable version that you can just go pick up. But I think also making it less premium gives you still a reason to go get those ones. Yeah, if you want to have that experience. Yeah, but if you want the at home version to have that flavor, <laughs> you got that there. And they weren't cheap either. It was like six dollars for this box. Dollar a pop. A dollar a pop, exactly. And that's cheaper than the other ones. But there's less. But there's there's less each one. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna give it flavor wise. I'm gonna give it a ten because I love the SpongeBob Ice Pop. Fun wise, I'm gonna give this one a seven. It's not as fun as the regular one. But convenience wise, I'm gonna give it a ten. So that rounds me off at about a 8.5. And you know what? I would have loved to add a little detail to make more value, a little bikini bottom joke on the stick. That would be funny. Some kind of bikini bottom joke. So I'm gonna just kind of add to this. That would be sweet, but solid. Okay, so next up we went to Dee Dee's discount. We, we did incredible there, incredible. So I got, boom, the SpongeBob gummy candies. I love whenever I can add a new uh, food product that we don't have in the collection. So these gummy candies, we do not have. I feel like maybe I tried some of these last year, but I didn't have a sealed bag. So I'm glad we picked these guys up. It seems so like obscure too. Yeah, these expire in 2025. Oh, you're good for years. <laughs> <laughs> a year. <laughs> we also grabbed this right here, which is the hot cocoa advent calendar. And I just think that's a really cool piece to add to the uh, Christmas collection as we, you know, add more and more to our Christmas collection. I love bringing this stuff out around Christmas time to decorate the cavern. And this one right here, I think just really kind of gets that advent calendar vibe across even more than the gummy Krabby Patties because it's really distinctly different each day. Yeah, you even got him doing the thing with a Santa Claus hat. Yeah, it's even, even like one double cinnamon cocoa mix. Yeah, French vanilla. I mean, technically you could say salted caramel and regular caramel, but yeah, really, no, I don't see anything. Crazy. Like it's a new cup of uh, hot chocolate every single oh, day. Oh, there's peppermint. But where's another peppermint? Mint? I, I don't Mint know. and peppermint are totally different, Mitchell. Okay, well then, yeah, I guess there's no... <laughs> No, no dupes. That's crazy. That is amazing. So no dupe city across the board. And you get 12 cups of cocoa. This retailed for, I don't even know because the sticker covers it. Probably like 15, 16 bucks. It says here 15, 16 bucks. <laughs> 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 no, but we got it for $2.49. So even if you're not even there for the Christmas vibes, I mean, that's cheap hot cocoa. This expires in nine months. So you're still good for nine months if you just wanted to drink huh. these just for the fun of it for $2.49. And then these guys right here, I mean, Mitchell got one, he wants to eat his. So we're gonna try Mitchell's. <laughs> this I'm not opening, so I'm keeping that sealed and I will rank this. Probably if we would've paid 15, $16, like Mitchell said, then I would probably give it like a, a seven, and eight. But since we got it for $2.50, 10, 10, 10, across the board, baby. All right, so mine, I got the label off mine really clean. So let's go ahead and, go ahead and open that one. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Ooh, no wonder how they keep these so fresh. It's a bag. <laughs> In a bag. In a bag. <laughs> Those are like huge gummy bears. Yeah, they're not gummy bears though. They're gummy bells. Oh, hit that. You know what this bell represents? I don't, I really don't. Christmas. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were going somewhere else with that. You know, Sleigh bells, jing -a -ling, ling, ling, <laughs> ling, ling. That's definitely how the song goes. <laughs> I don't remember. All right, so I got a strawberry one. Well, it's red, so I assume. It could be apple or strawberry. Mmm. Mmm. They're really a good, good example of gummy bears. Yeah. It just has like a very light, fruity taste. Not too tart, not too not tart. I got pineapple. I think I may have gotten cherry. I'm gonna fish around in there for an orange one. Is it supposed to be orange? I got orange that time. Nope. <laughs> I got an orange one, but it came out as grape. <laughs> the least desired of all the gummy fruits. Ooh, the orange one's solid. You like orange? I do. I do, I do, I do, I do. Ooh. <laughs> you guys like orange. 
gummies or candy, let us know. Then we'll say hi to the 2% of you. Yeah, I'm like- But I respect you for that. I'm like 50 when it comes to taste buds sometimes. I'll eat those little orange slices. <laughs> what? You know, like gumdrops? Do I like gumdrops? Yeah, like dots. Are you done with those little things that are like on- Oh, dots, yeah. Dots are okay. This is, uh, pull your teeth out, you eat them, but <laughs> they're good. That's, yeah, that, those. Just a little free dentist trip. Just, oh, they're all in this one ball now. It is crazy, but I'll eat the spice drops, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like them. I think that they're worth it for the price of 99 cents. Yeah. But I think that like, I don't like about them is that like the colors don't match the flavors. So like- You are playing a roulette of like, is this red apple? Is it cherry? Yeah, like, you have a roulette essentially exactly of what flavor you're gonna get by eating the three colors available. So I, I'm the kind of guy who I like to know what I'm putting in my mouth before I do it. You know, if I'm, <laughs> if I'm grabbing the green, I want it to be apple. If I'm grabbing the orange, I want it to be orange. If I'm grabbing the red, I want it to be strawberry or, or maybe cherry, <laughs> one of those. So it's a little confusing in that regard. Oh, wait a minute, I think I figured it out. No, I didn't, Never mind. Okay. <laughs> So I think I would say it's it's a it's an eight out of ten for me for ninety nine cents for ninety nine cents yeah yeah flavor wise I'm giving it a six oh uh, yeah I was gonna say like five and a half <laughs> pour some of that crusty crab sauce in there oh yeah now you're talking <laughs> made a little stir fry <laughs> then you got a ten on your hands. So the next product we got for Spongebob, Whoa. we got is this right here, this little stack of Spongebob cups. Like I said, I mean, $4 is kind of a lot for this. Maybe not, like I could see, you know, this being like $6, $8 at Target, cause it's by the company Zach. But I mean, at a, at a discount store, this you could you can get these cups bigger than this at Dollar Tree for a buck, you know? Yeah, I think they should have, uh... Maybe done like two dollars on that. Yeah, it's not the best deal, but it was the only one left. So obviously some people were buying them and I wanted to grab them just because I think they're cute and just to add to the collection. Not even really a big enough size for the 6'2 uh, grown man. Yeah, you get like a little sip of uh, Coke Zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I drank more cups than this of Coke Zero before I woke up. It's like you guys don't know this, but he, uh, he drinks Coke in his sleep. I sometimes almost drown. <laughs> I wake up. <laughs> 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 oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> Grabs Coke. <laughs> All right, so the SpongeBob cups, I'm giving these a six. Give them two for each cup. That'd be eight. Yeah, one of them's a discount. I'll give it a six out of ten. Yeah, they're a little, a little small. Yeah. All right, so on that note, move on from the cups. Six out of ten. Got a new SpongeBob product to the collection. Four to count them for as a, a group. <laughs> so, you know, can't complain too much. All right, next up here, we got. Oh wait, we have one more Spongebob product. We got this wallet. And this was only $5. So comparing that, ah! They whipped me like a Bulbasaur, man. That was a sting. But anyway, we got this wallet for $5. Usually it has a lid on it. It's a Spongebob one. You got that jellyfish sting. As seen in this brief image. Brief image gone. But this one doesn't have that lid. And I think that's why they got it at Didi's discount for even cheaper. Look at that, look how I can bend that up. <laughs> cheap little thing. Hey, those are like $17 wallets you're messing with. <sighs> Man, who cares about the guy who can bend the frying pans? Look at this. But give me a show. <laughs> <laughs> Where I bend your wallets. <laughs> All right, so we have the wallet right there. This reminds me for some reason, I don't know, but it reminds me of that, uh, of a DVD actually. Maybe I'm just getting the vibes wrong, but I love the colors. You have the blue, turquoise, blue, pink, red. It's kind of like a little bit of a color of like, I don't know, it's like Squidward and Gary's colors, like combined. Yeah, literally like his shell, his the swirl, Woodward's like green and blue. Yeah, I'm wrong. It doesn't have the vibe, but for some reason it reminded me of like these disc. Don't know what it is. I think for this one it's the colors. I mean, I get it. In though. the background? Like, it definitely feels like road trippy. Yeah, like the colors in the background of this, and then the hats I guess they have on in this one. Like, I don't know, the hat gives me the Patrick's hat vibe. I don't know, but it just made me feel like this era. All right, so the wallet, I'm gonna give that a 10 for $5. That's a solid wallet. It's freaking adorable. The color scheme on it is really, really cool. I love it. Five bucks, it's earned all 10 of those good noodle stars. Now, to the next item. For 99 cents, cents. <laughs> we got two, count them, two Whoa. Pokemon figures. We have Waba Fett, <laughs> the icon, the legend, Waba Fett. 
So Wobbuffet, for me, he was always the legend of being able to catch Latios and Latias because in the third gen, Latios and Latias, these two amazing Pokemon right here, who have this beautiful art card that's on screen. Yeah, really dope. They would be able to flee like in the middle of a fight, like they could just leave. Like So it was hard to be able to get them to sit there and catch them, but this Pokemon has an ability called Shadow Tag that actually prevents the Pokemon from teleporting or fleeing. So he was like the king when it came to that. And the fun thing about Wobbuffet also is you look at the Pokemon Pokemon here and it looks like this is the Pokemon like you're fighting him but essentially this is a punching bag the real Pokemon is right back here and you can see the eyes on the tail there that is the actual opponent there which is why Wobbuffet can learn moves like mirror move as well and a lot of other wall related moves to deflect enemies really unique and fun Pokemon. So this is awesome. I mean, I'm gonna give for 99 cents another 10. It was $5 reduced down to 99 cents, but one just sold on eBay today for $15. So a few of you guys have let me know that you guys enjoy that I add eBay sold listings into the videos because it gives better context to the items and why some of the pools or some of the things we find are a great find. And yeah, for 99 cents for context, this thing's going for $15. So that's an amazing pickup. And as a Pokemon collector, I'm never gonna leave something sealed and nice shape like this for 99 cents. And then next up, we have a muck. But you can tell us uh, anything special about this muck, Mitchell. He's multicolored. <laughs> This is what the sewer system of the Willy Wonka's chocolate factory <laughs> may look like. This is the Alolan muck. So this muck has a colorful markings, uh, it's chemical changes in its body uh, based off of the diet that it has in Alola, like eating fruits and the very tropical foods that are available in the trash comparatively to the, the regular version of muck. Yeah, and this one actually has like rocks for teeth, I guess. Yeah, and I actually used uh, Alolan muck when I did my playthrough of uh, Sun and Moon too, so. He's still poison or? I believe he is poison, and I want to say poison dark. I think he might be poison dark. I have to I have to check to see, but we'll take a look and see what this one's going for anywhere else too, so we can see how good of a deal 99 cents is. So we have some sold listings here. You can see for $20 for the muck, 14. This one's nine, but with $5 shipping. So, I mean, whether it's nine or 20, 99 cents is a steal. That's an amazing, like literally almost like, I mean, I'd say 50 cents is almost free. Like, yeah. That, that's almost free, but this is, this is pretty close. It's pretty close to being free these days. That's unbelievable. So, I mean, you couldn't get these prices at a garage sale Literally. like if you went to a garage sale they would be asking you two three four dollars for these so the fact that we have for 99 cents is absolutely just unbelievable so i'm gonna give them both these guys a 10 out of 10 all day every day for the rest of my week after this week who knows <laughs> they can't speak for next week you know but for this week I'll speak for it. So we also got this right here. This is the Pixar Remix. And I got this 100% to be honest for that display door in the background. You can see you can actually open the door too on the back here. Ooh, unless, does it make sounds? It probably does. I don't even know. Yeah, that's a good that's a good question. Oh, that's why you said ooh, because it just says ooh. Yeah. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> so it does not open, the door opens, but it doesn't say it makes sounds. <laughs> It looks like the light lights up too though. The light does light up on the top Whoa. of our door. So the light can light up. That is really cool. Part of me almost wants to open it, but I'm gonna wait for right now till I decide what I'm gonna do with it. But I just thought for the displayability of it, I thought it was incredible. I have the Alien Remix for the Buzz and Woody. I don't really collect necessarily Monsters Inc. stuff usually, unless it's very like iconic and specific items, but I don't really know how many good representations of that door there are out there. So even if I take the Boo and the Soul and I put them somewhere else, or if you put them on whatnot, give them away, whatever it may be, I still want that door back there just to kind of have for the collection and maybe put some other figures next to it, you know? Uh, yeah, or like uh, the Dorables, anything really, yeah. Yeah, because I'm not a huge fan I'll be honest I'm not a huge fan of the alien remixes outside of Toy Story because like for Toy Story I love it because it's like okay the aliens dress like Buzz Lightyear that's within his like own world I could totally see them doing that but like uh, the alien and like other Pixar stuff it's just not really for me as much but for $5.99 it can be for me <laughs> and I mean, we, we didn't, you know, do the pricing on a lot of the stuff because if this is at Target for $20, maybe it's on eBay for $27, but after shipping, it's it, that's basically what it goes for. So, you know, we're only going to do those price comparisons on the comparison of retail. And since these are discount stores, we can go ahead and do that. And this one sells for $18. And I could totally see this selling for like $15 bucks at a Walmart and Target. But because of that, I think a lot of other people feel the same way as me. The Alien Remix is a little weird with certain uh, other properties 
properties. I think that's why they kind of end up being liquidated. Whereas compared to this, I don't know how that happened. Okay, so another just freaking amazing piece there. But now we are getting on some stuff that we're not gonna dive as deep into because this is comfort cartoons. I do collect anime stuff as well. My other channel, Anime Avenue. I love anime. It's a huge part of my life, my childhood as well too. So it's all encompassing in animation though. So since we did pick this stuff up here, I'm gonna feature just to show you guys it. And you're not gonna believe it. Like it is unbelievable the deals that we got on these. So let's go ahead and check them out. Okay, so we got a bunch of different anime figures and I cannot, like I just really, Really can't believe it and like I said I don't think this is going to be a thing that's commonplace this is there all the time I think it was just a very lucked out we went on the right day because today we went on the day that they changed these prices and we kind of just got lucked out that we were happy to be right place right time we got Kupaska Kakashi this is my favorite character of all time in the Naruto series I've been wanting this one for a while we've seen it at Ross they saw it at Ross for $15 online he's currently going for $25 to $27 like constantly we got him for two dollars and 49 cents <laughs> you know i know a lot of anime collectors we have a huge group of people that are into anime in this community as well too when we're over on whatnot we, we talk a lot about anime we do a lot of anime stuff over there too i was not leaving these behind when i know people that would love these for freaking 249. We got Kakashi there. We got Sakura for 249. We saw her first. And I was thinking, like, wow, that's really cheap. And I was like, okay, it's Sakura. You know, like, I like Sakura, but I know she's not like a fan favorite of character, so I could understand it more. But then when I started seeing like Kakashi and then seeing Sasuke freaking Effectreme figures right here, 20th anniversary, $2.49. Unbelievable deal there. Cause like anywhere else, 15 minimum. That's like not yeah. even a joke. Like for context again, for us as an, I, I have this figure. I paid like $15 for it. I wanted this one. If you go to freaking box lunch right now, they sell these for $22. This one right here, again, $20 to $30, depending on what store you go to. This one right here, My Hero Academia. Boom, another one, $2.49. All these ones you're seeing were $2.49. We got Zenitsu here. We got Rengoku. And I'm like, I collect this line in particular super heavy. And I paid $15 to upwards of $50 for some of these. $2.49. That's Rengoku's brother. That's Rengoku's little brother, yeah, his little brother there. <laughs> Tokyo Avenger here. Two dollars and forty-nine cents. Do you have this one? I don't. You can have this one. That's uh, there. You go. Freaking two dollars and forty-nine cents. Got Mitchell. Got a freaking friend a gift. Two dollars and forty-nine cents. Forty-nine cents. We got Laxus from Fairy. I, I, I'm not a huge Fairy Tale fan, but I saw a Funko Pop for fifty cents, and I wasn't leaving it. I've never seen one that long. Even ever. I, if, yeah, exactly. Even if I give this away on whatnot, it costs literally next to nothing. Forty-nine cents. That is unbelievable. So I, I just picked them up. I even mean, know Mitchell loves Tokyo Avenger, Revenger too, more than myself for sure. So you know, I'd rather that go to you. I just want to make sure you know he loves the show, so that's perfect for him. And I'm, I'm definitely keeping a lot of these Naruto things too as well. It, it, un believable price like Same. all of this was the price of like one of these at like a box lunch or fye <laughs> Sadly, the most expensive thing is what I got, which was the Gar. Yeah, he got Gara. He got five Gara bucks. for five dollars. It was that's still a good deal. I paid for my Gara to like twelve ninety nine. Isn't that crazy though? That five dollars for a pop is the most expensive thing that they had there. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So on that, that was just a killer freaking haul, and we would have missed this opportunity had we gone any later. If we just not drive there, if we'd have just given up. But like I said, in the business of collecting. You gotta keep your feet moving because you never know what is gonna be around that corner. Never get despair, never get down on yourself. Just keep it moving. And the more you keep moving, the more you keep positive, you keep your eyes open, the more opportunities you're not gonna let pass you up. So on that note, stay tuned here. We're gonna add some of this stuff to the collection. We may even have to add some stuff to the anime room. Even though this is on Comfort Cartoons, we'll briefly add it in there real quick. I, I gotta put this Kakashi away. <laughs> He's so adorable. I know he is. He's so freaking cute. But before that, you know the drill. Scan it. All 
Okay, so adding this to the collection, of course, this is gonna go in our expanded food collection here. This guy might go to the vault along with the wallet. This one may go in my rotation. I might end up using this wallet because I am using the other wallet that I picked up. But I mean, I don't know how long it'll last. Maybe I'll just use it long enough to where it still looks good and then I'll switch over to this one. But I love this guy. And these guys right here, those will be going into my Pokemon collection. Okay, so I put the Dragon Ball Z box right here next to Larry Boy's car <laughs> and also Scooby. You guys know my kitchen. I like had wild food related things and he's a cucumber. Okay, it makes sense. Okay, so we have the Pokemon here and boom! We have the new Raikou right next to Suicune, actually. And yes, I did have the Tyranitar, so that's nice to see. We have the entire setup of my select figures right here. I am fully prepared to make this whole wall back here all select figures. I'll put this whole display in the hallway if I have to. I want this whole wall to be just display figures. But they got to release more of them, and I also got to pick up more of them. And for Kakashi, I added this adorable guy right here next to Paku. So we have all my Kakashi figures here. Here, the Kakashi Funko Pops. Uh, uh, yeah, like I said, he's my favorite character. And then we have Mr. Tall Man, freaking Sasuke. This guy is high flying. There's no denying. He is in the air. But the reason why is there is a Shippuden Sasuke that connects to this one. So if I ever see that one, it'd be kind of cool to put it over here and have them like <laughs> connecting yeah. across. It's just so crazy. You could fit like his Funko Pop right here. You could put literally a Funko Pop in range. That's how much height there is on this figure. But nonetheless, he's right here for right now. I'm probably going to reposition him once I get the second one, but we got him in here. All right, I put Mr. Tall Guy down here actually for, for now. Okay, so for the Monsters Inc. Remix, I have this space right here. I have a little idea of what to do here. This is our Disney shelf, but this is all gonna be moved very soon, but for right now, we can still display it and set it up and probably have some of the similar things set up in similar ways. At least the top shelf, for sure, is gonna probably stay like that even once we do the moving. But I also have this scare canister. Very creepy. <laughs> so I have, I'm gonna add this right next to it. There we go. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to smack that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. And if you guys wanna support the show further, you can check out our Patreon, where you can now sign up for as little as $2 a month. And you get extended versions of every single video that we upload. And on my main channel, you even get uncensored and extended versions of the videos. It's the ultimate way to watch comfort cartoons as well. Some of those videos can be 5, 10, 20 minutes longer than the videos we upload over here on YouTube with some stuff that we just can't do here on YouTube. So that'll be down below. Huge shout out to the big Patreons of the month in the Rep Pack Royalty. Shout out to Taz Watsky. Shout out to Storm X Quick. Shout out to List of Legends. Shout out to Prismatic Phantom. Yanis Torres. It's Big Little. Kevin Nguyen. Later. A Castle. Real Queen G. Gabriella and also Don the Whale. Thank you guys so much for making everything that we do here possible. We appreciate you guys and have so much love for everything you guys do. And if you guys want to see us live, go check out the Whatnot stream where we are live every single Friday. And some of the items you see here today, you may see over there or maybe even be given away over there on Whatnot. So if you guys wanna be a part of that, go check that out down below. When you sign up, you get $15 to spend for free. I've been doing Whatnot for over a year now. It's a very safe and amazing website to be on. Basically eBay, Twitch, they had a baby, a very fun, cool, awesome baby. <laughs> And on that baby, you can pick up all the stuff that you love to collect, Funko Pops, Pokemon cards, you name it. And you can do it live or 24 seven with the shops that they have available on the marketplace all the time. So that link will be down below as well. I'll see you guys over here in this video that I know you're gonna love. But as always, I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios and bloop.